Welcome to Battle Report 8 and this is another of the uh, Games Workshop's Install League games. I'm using my Dwarves and it's a 2500 point game uh, against Dom's High Elves. I've changed my list a little bit from uh, the last game and uh, just dropping out a cannon and introducing a Grudge Thrower. I'll go through my list. Uh, Dom, I didn't catch his list so I'll go through the units as far as I can say and give information about uh, what he had and who he had. So for my dwarfs I have the uh, Warlord on shield bearers. He just has a great weapon but he does have the extra toughness and the extra wounds and the 5 plus ward save from all his runes. I then have a Thane BSB with Grungni uh, and two runes of slowness. Uh, he goes into the uh, Longbeards. I then have two runesmiths. Each runesmith has a spell of or it's the runes of spell breaking and eating, uh, so that gives me a bit of defence against the magic. I then have an engineer who has Gromalamus, which gives him a one up, and also he has an extra wound from the runes. For Makor, I'm running 34 Longbeards, which have shield and axes. They have the rune of stoicism on their banner, and my other core unit is a unit of 12 quarrelers with a musician, and they have shields just to give them that extra little bit of benefit from the shield wall if they need it. My special slot comprises of two gyrocopters, neither has vanguard, and a grudge thrower which has, has got the rune of penetrating, just giving that extra little bit on impact. For my rare I've got two organ guns with a variation of uh, rune of accuracy and forging, and then a unit uh, of iron drakes which I've had to drop to just 16 of them, but with the banner of to slowness. So it is a, a nasty little army really uh, and it's been set up to take on uh, people's armies of the end times in the Games Workshop League uh, and for, for people who haven't faced a, a Dwarves army that can come as a bit of a shock to them. Here's a picture of some of my High Elves as I go through Dom's army. Uh, Dom's new to Fantasy has been playing 40k and the store's new league has meant a few people have uh, changed across to set things up. So he's not got an optimal list, uh, and he's still learning. So I go through his army list. He's got a level 2 on metal, and he then has a lord on a dragon. He's got a unit of 40 plus sea guard, uh, a unit of 20 plus sword masters, 20 plus phoenix guard, uh, two units of five dragon princes, a unit of 10 Illyrian reavers, uh, and I, I want to say there's some eagles, but I don't think there is in this one. So that was Dom's army. Uh, and for his magic spells, he took Searing Doom and managed to get Final Transformation. Uh, which are some pretty good spells versus my dwarves. Terrain was chosen by random placement. And Dom won the uh, dice roll to see which side he wanted to go. Uh, and we both ended up with hills in our deployment zone. Once again I rolled a 2 for my uh, Ancestral Grudge. So my army general was going to be hating his army general. I've played so many games and all I ever roll is 1 or a 2. Dom run the roll off to place first. And, and we set down our uh, figures. And I realised, yep, I'd made a mistake straight away with putting down my gyrocopters. Where I then sort of blocked my advance onto the fence with my iron drakes. I did go for the classic dwarf uh, castling. Uh, I went for the uh, the long beards in front of my two organ guns and my rock lover, or grudge thrower. <laughs> As you can see, I'm proxying in the uh, orc and goblins. And uh, then put them with my master engineer. My uh, characters, uh, the BSB, the lord and a runesmith went into the long beards and one runesmith went into the Iron Drakes on the left. My quarrelers I put into the building on my right flank, and the other gyrocopter I put over onto the right as well. You can just see the quarrelers on top of the tower in the left-hand corner, and the gyrocopter is hiding behind the hill. Dom set up as follows. He uh, put one unit of uh, Dragon Princes on his right flank, my left, and then he put his uh, block of 10 Illyrian Reavers, followed by his 40-odd Seaguard with the 
Swordmasters behind them. He put his level 2 into the uh, Sea Guard. He then had his unit of Phoenix Guard to their left and his other unit of Dragon Princes. And then on the far left was his Lord on the Dragon. I think his Lunas to Fantasy uh, caused him problems uh, by stretching out his army uh, too thin and putting his uh, pretty big hitter, Dragon, uh, right away on my right flank, which was going to take a little bit of time for him to get up. Uh, it was the biggest worry that I had that uh, he would have put the Dragon and been able to get it into the flank of my War Machines. Uh, again... He split his Dragon Princes where they probably would have been both better served with the Illyrian Reavers on my left. Uh, so he could have put real pressure on the Iron Drakes, which I probably wouldn't have thought could have stood up to a charge of both of the Dragon Princes. His deployment certainly did play into my hands with my uh, ranged shooting. Dom advanced uh, up with Vanguard, his Illyrian Reavers, and... To make matters worse, I was able to get the go to go first, despite uh, Dom having deployed first. So, Dwarf turn one, I moved the gyrocopter up to uh, a safe place in front of the building. Positioned in such a way that it should be able to just do a normal move to get the flank of the sea guard to be able to use the steam gun. I moved the iron drakes up just three inches to enable them to get a shot off on the reavers in front. Pretty poor shooting by the Iron Drakes and I think I only take off one of the reavers. However I then turn one of the organ guns onto the reavers and that takes out their back rank. Enough to cause a panic test uh, which they fail. Their flea move is so much that it takes them over the dragon princes and off the board. So uh, a nice little shooting phase for me but uh, quite a blow to Dom. High off turn one and the Lord on the Dragon moves up towards the tower. On the left flank, uh, the Dragon Princes move up to threaten the Iron Drakes. Uh, Dom now knows that uh, they will get a, a 2 plus save against the flaming attacks of the Iron Drakes. Everything else moves forward, but uh, doesn't move them as far as they could go. Magic is pretty dismal and it ends up being two dice to one and uh, he does able to get Searing Doom off which is irresistible on two dice. Can you believe it? The roll on the miscast table means that the level two takes one wound and he manages to kill off uh, six of the Sea Guard. So Dwarf turn two and I move the Iron Drakes up to the fence to give them a little bit of cover. And I move the Gyrocopter from the centre to behind my hill. Just giving a little bit of protection from uh, any Searing Dooms that might come its way from the Mage in the next turn. As you saw in the previous shot, my other Gyrocopter that had been in front of this tower was able to hop round and get into position on the flank of the Sea Guard. So I, the Sea Guard were going to take a bit of a hammering this time around. On to shooting, and yep, the Iron Drakes did very little against the Dragon Princes. So I had to then turn one of the organ guns on them, and yep, took out four of the uh, troops. This did mean I didn't have quite so many shots on the Sea Guard. But as you can see, a combination of uh, one steam gun and the organ gun uh, managed to uh, decimate them pretty well. The grudge thrower in this occasion um, missed. On the right flank, the quarrelers are able to put one wound on the dragon, which was uh, quite a good result. So high elf turn two, and everything moves forward. Uh, he does uh, declare a suicidal charge with the lone dragon prince, onto my Iron Drakes, and yep, uh, even with his 2 plus save, he doesn't survive. Uh, to my surprise, he charges his Dragon Lord into the tower against my Quarrelers. Uh, I'm able to stand, wasn't able to stand and shoot as he was too close, uh, and then we were moving in on to combat with it. For Dom's Magic, he gets 5 dice uh, to my 4, 
and he goes for final transformation with uh, the five dice, but he doesn't get irresistible force, and I use one of my spells of spell eating, and yet, once again, fail to eat it, so he's going to be able to use it in another phase. I think the charge with the dragon is because Dom's fairly new, and he thought, probably thought that the dragon and the lord was going to be able to take out the quarrelers in one turn. Uh, I do have 12 quarrelers in there, uh, with a musician, uh, and they have shields. So I'm going to get a 5 plus parry from shield wall. And with being stubborn in the building, it's going to give me a good chance of staying one more turn, which in fact is what happens. I managed to get one wound through on his lord, and I realised and find out that he's only got uh, heavy armour and no ward save. And the dragon and the lord bounce back. I think I'm missing a couple of shots uh, of dwarf turn three, and uh, since it's been a week and I've had the flu in between, I'm a little bit unclear on some of the uh, details. Seeing that the uh, dragon princes were coming round to threaten my flank, and possibly the dragon in the next turn, I uh, chose the dragon prince as a priority for the organ guns. Uh, shooting was pretty poor with them, so I had to use both uh, to actually take out all five of them, uh, which meant I had to then try and uh, hit the sea guard with the rock lobber and also the steam gun, uh, which I did. Uh, it did take a, a fair chunk out of them. They did manage to pass their leadership test, uh, the other gyrocopter flew over the Phoenix Guard and dropped uh, a bomb uh, and was able to take out a couple of them who failed their ward save. High off turn three and not a lot happens. The uh, Sea Guard move up and the Phoenix Guard move up. The Dragon in the Tower manages uh, to finish off the Quarrelers and turn to come on towards the rest of the uh, the battle. For magic, it was 7-4 to the High Elves. Uh, Dom tried to go for final transport, transmutation again, but uh, didn't get irresistibly uh, through, and I was able to use my second rune of spell eating uh, to stop it, but once again failed to roll to eat it. Uh, he tried final, uh, sorry, um, searing doom with his uh, last couple of dice, um, but it, it didn't go. So, yeah, uh, I'm being pretty lucky from the magic side. Yeah, Dwarf turns four, and with shooting, I'm able to get the Sea Guard to flee. They go over the Swordmasters, but uh, don't cause panic. Uh, with the organ guns, I then train onto the Phoenix Guard uh, and uh, able to take out uh, what was left of the third rank. I go for the dragon and rider with my grudge thrower, but it, it scatters off and misses. Oops, forgot to mention that his level 2 did fail a lookout, sir, and because it only had one more wound left, uh, died. So that was the end of his magic. High off turn 4, and both the Swordmasters and the Phoenix Guard uh, try to charge my Longbeards. But they fail, and the Dragon Lord moves up to get much closer to the flank of my artillery. As there was no shooting or magic, it was then on to Dwarf turn 5. I turn the Iron Drakes and the Longbeards to face the Swordmasters and the Phoenix Guard, and I take a shot at the uh, Lord on the Dragon with the organ guns, and I'm able to take out the rider. The dragon's still standing there, but I take out the rider, and he uh, rolls on the monster reaction chart, and the monster gets to remain in play, but cannot move, but will face any threats. High off turn five, and the sword masters and the phoenix guard charge into the longbeards. Uh, my double rune of slowness has no effect on their charge distance, and both make it in. Looking at it, I think it's probably better for the uh, dwarves to uh, to face the charge when they're facing something like the high elves, because they will get that ex extra pip of uh, parry save because of the shield wall ruling that they have.
And on to combat. And combined, the Phoenix Guard and the Swordmasters are able to kill seven of the dwarves. Unfortunately for the High Elves, uh, the dwarves return with 11 wounds. Uh, after all combat res, the High Elves take their leadership test and fail it. They uh, haven't got a BSB, so haven't got an opportunity to try and re-roll. They flee, and the dwarves roll enough to catch them. Dwarf turn 6, and I try to uh, finish off a few things. Uh, I'm unable to uh, kill the dragon, and that one survives. But, again, I aim on the remaining sea guard and take them out. Uh, dwarf... Onto High Elf turn 6 and there was nothing really to be done and we called the game there. Uh, and uh, a fairly easy convincing win to the Dwarves in the end. As I said at the beginning, Dom is a, a new player to Warhammer Fantasy and the High Elf list wasn't the uh, the strongest. Uh, and bearing in mind my army was uh, designed to face some of the more difficult end time armies. He was in a very difficult position just to start off with. I think, however, if he had... Um, concentrated all his troops on one side uh, to really put pressure on my uh, castle using the dragon on one side to flank and the dragon princes on the other side to flank uh, that could have caused my position to be much more difficult but as it was uh, it was another win to the dwarves and that takes me now four wins out of four for the league so pretty happy with that uh, and looking forward to my next game in the league uh, my next battle report, I'm hoping to get one in with Colin. Uh, being uh, down with the flu this last week meant we couldn't get our normal game in. And hopefully we'll pick one up this Thursday coming. And we're going to think, uh, I'll see if we can talk him into trying the uh, this year's South Coast GT uh, rule pack. And uh, that'll be interesting. Haven't had a chance to look at it so far. But looking at the, uh, the Twitter, uh, it looks uh, quite amusing. You can find me on Twitter at KenoMeat. Uh, you'll find various things there, Warhammery, but also uh, I'm a big uh, Greyhound Rescue and Lurcher fanatic, so there's quite a bit there. So look forward to seeing you. If you do like this, uh, please like it, subscribe if you wish. Please feel free to share it along. And as I say, um, try and get an SC, S South Coast GT game in. Uh, not sure what armies it will be yet. Might try something different, uh, and we'll see how we go. So many thanks for watching, I uh, hope uh, to see you soon.